we have a document open here inside of InDesign. Let's export this out and simultaneously add a password to that PDF. So file, export. Now from within InDesign, there are two types of PDFs that we can export out. One is print and one is interactive. I'll show you both, but let's start with print. Let's choose save. So I'm just saving this out to my desktop. Here's all of our normal PDF stuff you might've seen before, compression marks and bleeds, but the security is down here in the security tab. So the first thing we wanna add is require a password to open the document. We just uh, tick that to turn that on and then let's type in a password. I'm just typing in InDesign, a very weak password, but you'll get the idea. So the password to open our document is InDesign. Now we don't have to add other permission passwords, but just to show you, we can also turn this on as well. So this is user password to restrict printing, editing, and other tasks. So let's enter maybe Adobe for that password just there. Now we can actually get rather specific on what people can and can't do with this PDF. So under printing, for example, they could choose any one of these settings, but let's just set that to none. And under changes allowed, again, we could get very specific about what they can and can't do. Let's just set that to none. So this password here, Adobe, is restricting them from doing anything in terms of printing and or changing the document. So let's choose export. Now it's going to ask us to confirm all of these passwords. So the first one is the open the document password, which was this one just up here. So let's type in InDesign, choose OK. It's prompting us for the next one, which was the permissions password, which was this one just here. So let's type in Adobe, choose OK and it's created the PDF for us. So we can see the nice big padlock on the PDF just there, that's showing us, that's my operating system showing us that that is a secure PDF. So if I double click on that to open it up, it's asking us for the open password. So let's type in InDesign, fantastic. So that's now opened up nicely inside of Acrobat just here. And if I try to edit this PDF, it's going to prompt me for that permissions password. So if I now type in Adobe, choose OK, I am now free to edit that PDF. Very nice, I'll just close that PDF and close down Acrobat just here, because if we come back into InDesign, I just wanted to remind you, when we go up to File Export, there is that other kind of PDF, so up under Adobe PDF Interactive, if I choose that and choose Save, asking if I want to replace this file, yes, now, um, this is a very different looking dialog box, but if we come down to the security section, you'll see that it's pretty much identical to the one that we saw before. So no need for me to step you through that. So that's it guys, that's how you can add password protection to your PDFs when exporting from InDesign.